Hi guys, Yuma from EV Jobs, and today I'll show you how to search LinkedIn candidate profiles in the Google search engine. Searching for candidate profiles in the Google search engine has a couple of big benefits over searching directly in LinkedIn. One of them is that it's totally free. You don't need a, an overpriced LinkedIn paid account to search for candidates. And the second thing is that you can also find candidate profiles using more operators with which you can advance your search string and therefore target more specifically. The basic search string to search for LinkedIn profiles is going to Google and saying site. That's the site operator that says that you're looking in a domain. LinkedIn.com is obviously the one that we're looking for and slash in we add to only find profiles instead of also for example LinkedIn articles or LinkedIn groups in this case we don't want them to end up in our search results so with the linkedin.com slash in search string we get basically almost all the LinkedIn profiles that there are available on LinkedIn and obviously we want to advance the search string to make it more targeted because we're not going to search 587 million profiles boolean operators you can use to make your search more specific and get more targeted results boolean operators are the end operator the or operator and the not operator in google that's noted as a minus a sign or a hyphen i will go through them but realize this is the basic stuff so if you already know boolean search you can skip to the next part but for the people who don't know yet or who want a refresher let's go through this so using the site operator we go to only profile results in google just like we have shown before there we can start specifying our search and in this case we're going to search for a sales executive using and operators initially so we're searching for a sales executive and we put those in quotations because we're looking for a phrase so we want sales executives to be found next to each other and not as separate words then we're going to add some keywords and here the end operators already come in use so we're we're saying for an example we're looking for a SaaS sales executive and someone who has experience with the fintech industry now we already see that that will yield some more specific results because with the end operator, we're looking for sales executive and SaaS and as well FinTech in a profile. Otherwise the profiles shouldn't come up. The nice thing about the end operator is that we can also use just the spaces and spaces are recognized as an end operator in Google. So they're actually, you can actually leave them out in your search string. With the end operator, you can make your search more narrow. And with the OR operator, you can actually make it more broad. So if we would be looking for a SaaS sales executive and we would want to have them have SaaS experience or FinTech experience, either one of those in their profile, we can use the OR operator to make that distinction. That yields way more broader results, like you can see, 624,000 results. Uh, because it should be either SaaS or FinTech that should be in their profile, either one of those. And it doesn't necessarily have to be both of them, just like we did with the end operator. If we want those people to not have certain experience, for an example, if we're looking for a sales executive who is actually executing sales and who is not wanting to lead a team, then we can exclude, for an example, the word team lead and we can exclude the word manager, for an example. This way we get more specific results. Based on the results from the previous search, we still see one issue, and that is that some of the profiles are actually not SaaS executives. So for an example, the third result is a good example because this is someone who's working for a recruitment agency who is actually recruiting for SaaS executives and has all the keywords in their profile, but is actually not a SaaS executive themselves. How we can fix this issue is by using the in-title operator in front of the most important keywords. And that looks like this. In this case, we will look for sales executive in the current job title in LinkedIn. And as you can see, this will narrow down the search results significantly. Now, as you can see, we still have profiles from all over the world. And in this example, we're looking for SaaS sales executive from the UK area and specifically London. So there are two ways to include location-specific parameters to your search. 
One is including a country code to your search, and the second is including regional keywords in your search string. The first thing you can do is the country code. What I've done here is adding UK dot in front of LinkedIn.com slash in, which will search for only UK profiles. This already narrows down our search significantly. For an overview of the country codes, you can go to our blog on country codes that you can use in LinkedIn to find the country codes you need. The second thing what you can do is adding regional keywords. So for an example, we can add London to our search which will search for London as a keyword in the entire profile. So take note that it doesn't necessarily search in the location field of LinkedIn. That's unfortunately not possible with a regular Google search, but it searches for London in the entire profile. This will return 52 results, which is a very manageable task to go screening these profiles. And as you can see, they're all SaaS sales executives working in the London area who are not leading a team and who have fintech as an additional keyword in their profile.